Hello everyone, this is Corey Tafoy, the superintendent with another of our bi-weekly video message for everyone. As you know, well underway now, we had a chance to uh, count noses, if you will, around the district, and we have 2,620 students here in Harvard this year, which is a, uh, a bit up, and we even have a record enrollment at our high school. 825 students are in attendance at Harvard High School, the most in school history, which is really fantastic and it's great to see that new schedule working with so many people so we are well underway around the district. In these video segments feel free to send me some questions or things you'd like me to talk about and I've got a couple things that people ask me frequently as I'm around town and one of the most common ones is what's going on at the parking lot and some of you heard me say this before but we are redoing the parking lot here at central office it was falling apart uh, and really needed a full repair. So that's the project you see here at Central Office. But probably the most important and the most impactful is the big locker room project. And if you haven't heard about this, we'll try to do a good job of perhaps even bringing you some video of the progress of the locker room project. Our new locker rooms at the high school will be modern, up-to-date, and they really will be fantastic once they're all completed. The trick is they won't be complete until February, so it's a big project that's gonna take some time. But when they're done, we're gonna show you great pictures this really modern and awesome looking family uh, picture of these locker rooms for our students and our athletes and our visitors. Everyone that comes is going to be really impressed by our new facilities. One of my favorite parts of the fall is homecoming. I love the festivities, the tradition, and last year we didn't get homecoming, so this year I know is going to be extra special. Homecoming this year is on the week of September 20th. We'll try to keep you up to date on all of the different events of homecoming, the dress up days, What's great about Harvard is that we have the homecoming experience for all of our schools. We're all supporting the same school, and so our homecoming truly becomes a community celebration. So we're excited about that. The homecoming football game will be on September 24th when we play, the, uh, play Rochelle. And then, of course, the dance is the following Saturday night, the, uh, September 25th, and the dance will be held there on campus. We're trying to do everything with homecoming to keep it as safe as possible. So there's going to be some modifications but hopefully as much as possible, it looks like the homecomings we've known and seen over the years. And I want to thank all the people for their hard work on putting on a great homecoming. It's a lot of work, but something we're really, really looking forward to. Last year in the pandemic, we had to adapt and do a lot of things much differently than we've ever done before. And we made a commitment to ourselves that some of those things that we learned how to do just by need, we would maybe think about continuing. And one of those things is parent-teacher conferences. Last year, parent-teacher conferences were held entirely via Zoom. We're going to continue this year with some of the Zoom options, but we're going to give you, the parents, the choice whether you want to come in to meet your parents and have a live conference or whether you'd rather uh, do the conference Zoom. A lot of parents told us, hey, that was really convenient. I have three different schools and I did all of my kids' conferences in about half an hour. That was fantastic. When normally I'd have to drive around and it took two or three hours of work. So we are going to offer parents that option. So again, that is October 6th and 7th, parent-teacher conferences. You'll be getting notification from the buildings shortly on how you want to participate. But no matter how you do it, whether it's in person or via Zoom, please participate in parent conferences. It's a great way for you to hear how your son or your daughter is doing, keeping up with all the schoolwork as we've got it started with this brand new school year. I do have a reminder for all of our families about our health and safety protocols. It is very important that every day when your child comes to school that you do that symptom check. No fever, no headache, no cough, no sniffles, none of those things that might mean they're potentially COVID positive. Even though it's unlikely that they are, it's really important that if those symptoms exist, you keep your son or your daughter home from school and call the school office to report those symptoms. We've had a number of situations where we've had positive test cases already in our school that perhaps could have even been avoided if uh, someone would have kept their son or their daughter home that day because there were symptoms that were evident. So just as a reminder, that is really important that that self-check happens every single day. And also want your help in being a partner to remind all of our students to wear their masks properly. Sometimes we see masks slip down over the chin and we've had some students had to be excluded from school because they weren't wearing their mask right. It was down over their chin, which obviously is part of the protection. So reminding students to keep their masks up and over their nose is how they have the ultimate protection against being excluded from school. Knowing that the exclusion is 10 to 14 days, that's a lot of school for our kids to miss. And for something as simple as wearing your mask properly, it's an easy thing to do, we think. And we thank you for your cooperation and help with that. And finally, just like I mentioned, thank you for all the feedback on these videos. We are going to collect more feedback. 
every other year we do a survey of our families and of our community to see what are their perceptions of how things are going on in our school district. We gather a lot of information and it helps us make decisions on what we need to do better or what we're doing well that we need to continue to do. So because of COVID and what happened last spring, we postponed the annual or every other year actually uh, survey that we do for, for families and we're going to do this in the fall. So you're going to receive through your email account a link for you to complete a survey about the district, about the district, about the schools, all parts of this. We've been doing this now for five years as a way to really understand what are your perceptions of what's going well and what do we need to improve. So that participation, you taking the time to uh, hit that link, and it's really a, a pretty simple survey. Ten minutes is uh, typically what that survey takes, but it gives us tons and tons of feedback about that we really do truly value. That also is, will be available to our community. There's an open link that our community can take, so you as a community member can give us some feedback on what you see happening in your schools, because we do value, obviously, the input of our community and our parents. So I'll be looking for that in the coming, coming weeks. There'll be more information to come on that, but I wanted to give you a heads up that that important part of our annual process of self-examination will be coming up uh, yet this fall. Thanks everyone, we'll see you soon.